Hi guys, it's Tara again, and today I would like to talk about movie theaters. You know when you go to the movie and, you know, you walk up, you get your little ticket, and you're like, two for Sherlock Holmes, please. And then the guy behind the counter is all like, oh, ten for, uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? How did you get ten for the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo out of two for Sherlock Holmes? Please tell me this. This is what happened to me and my dad t tonight when we went to the movies. And, uh, so we get in there. And did you notice every time you go to the movie theater, you always get your giant cup. It's like this big. You get like the large and it's like a refill. How are you going to drink this much and then get a refill? That's what I want to know. Anyway, so you get your little refillable giant supersized cup. That's supposed to be like a large. And you get your little popcorn giant ass soda. You go and you sit down and you have like okay so as soon as you sit down you know usually you get in like back usually the back the back aisle is preferable at least that's where I sit but that's where everyone has sex at but anyway not important so <laughs> like you sit down you see like the cum that's on the next chair let's take the next chair that one has cum on it anyway so <laughs> then uh, you go and you sit down you know, you relax, you put your feet up, you know, you put your arms above your head, and you're like, yeah. And did you notice, like, when you put your cup back in the thing, like, you have to, like, rotate it during the movie, and you're, like, and you're, like, enthralled with the movie. You just keep putting it in circles and circles. Can't they just put, like, a damn light bulb in there so you know, just a little tiny little wattage just so you can see where, where the hell the cup holder went? Anyway. So you're sitting back and your feet are up, you're, you, clearly you look relaxed, you're like, you got it made like you're in your living room. Then some asshole walks up the stairs and decides to sit right in front of you. Right where your feet are up and propped. The entire rest of the theater is completely empty, but these two people decide they want to sit directly in front of you, right where your feet are. This pisses me off to no end. So you know what I do? I kick the back of their chair repeatedly. So you know when you go to the theater and people kick the back of your chairs? It's not because they have a nervous tick. It's because you pissed them off because you took the chair in front of them that was their footrest. So keep that in mind, folks. And then did you notice when like people kick you, the chair behind you, you like turn to them and you like give them like the dirtiest look as if like they can see you in the dark? Okay, and then they still keep kicking your chair over and over again. Anyway. Then, you know, halfway through the movie, you know how you, like, oh, suddenly you have to go pee, and you come back, and it's, like, pitch black, and you can't remember where your seat is? So you're, like, looking and looking and looking, and, of course, they're in a fucking cave. And you're, like, okay, where the hell is the beach around here so that way I can see where my, where my friggin' chair is, you know? <sighs> anyway, and then another crazy thing that happened is after the movie, uh, me and my dad were walking out, it's, uh, past closing time. It's probably like 11 o'clock at night, and you look over to the left, like where the where they sell the movie tickets, and this like this like small group of like teenagers, probably around my age, probably around like 18, 17, something like, somewhere in there. Anyway, so they're like walking in like this group, and they decide to walk up to the little dark ticket stand to buy the tickets and this girl walks up there's absolutely no movies lit up on the screen so it's clearly they don't have any more movies it's pitch black in the ticket stand there's only one guy like sweeping or something I don't even know anyway it's 11 o'clock at night it's pitch black in there there's like no movies on the screen this girl walks up to the dude sweeping back there and she's all like uh do you guys have any more movies and the guy's like no and this girl's all like Ah, uh, why? Clearly they have a closing time, and clearly they are not open. So why the heck are you trying to buy a movie ticket? Anyway, so then we just kept walking. And you know what the worst part of going to the movies is? Is you are stuck in a room full of, like, I don't know, what would you say, like, 40, 30 people, I don't even know. However many people sit and watch a movie in a theater, depending on how good the movie is. But nothing is worse than getting the farts when you are in a movie theater. Because you're like, oh shit, oh shit, should I fart? I can't fart because all these people will smell it and they're all like, oh my god, no! Someone farted! But this is such a good movie, I can't leave yet! 
I'll wait till the good part's over, and then I'll come back. I'll go to the I'll go to the concession stand, get an icy, come back. Hopefully, the smell will go away. But it doesn't, because then that person farts again. Like, I don't know which is worse: being the person with the farts and not wanting to miss the movie, or the person standing next to you who has to smell it. That's pretty gross. I don't know which I'd rather be. Anyway, so that's my story. Hope you enjoyed it.